When communicating your observations that you make using a microscope, it's important to have some key information present in your drawings. This ensures that your audience or anyone looking at your drawings understands what it is that you are trying to communicate in terms of scale and the specimen itself. The first thing that all microscope drawings must have, especially in order to receive full credit, is a circular field of view. This field of view is usually given to you in a lab and represents everything that you can see looking through the ocular lens of your microscope. The next piece of information which you must have is a label for the specimen you are viewing. In this case, we're going to be looking at onion cells. The label should go on top of the field of view. Below the field of view, I need to indicate my total magnification. Recall that total magnification equals the objective lens you are using multiplied by the ocular lens, which is a 10x, always. Make sure that you refer to the lab to determine what magnification your drawings should be on. Finally, I'm going to draw what it is I see to scale. Now, you should not fill up the entire field of view with everything you can see. For example, you should choose one or two representative cells, or rather two or three representative cells, and draw them with a lot of detail and draw them to scale. So here I'm just going to draw one onion cell, drawing it to scale. There's my onion cell. Finally, it's time to label my drawing. Labels should go outside the field of view. For example, now I'll label the cell wall and show where it is using a single line pointing to it. If you follow these steps for all of your microscope drawings, you will receive full credit. Make sure that you include the title, the total magnification, your drawing drawn to scale with details and as accurate as possible, and labels outside the field of view. Thank you.